Oh boy, there's a lot of buzz right now in the housing market, and that's a subject that interests all of us. We've got some tips on how to get the purchasing power you need, because Chuck Roach from Supreme Lending is here to tell us more, and what I'm seeing myself in my neighborhood are for sale signs going up, and two weeks later, the U-Haul comes in, and they take off with a, a load of stuff and a new owner. Houses are selling like that, am I right? Quicker than we've seen the most uh, most recent months or even past years right now. We're in a very aggressive real estate market right now. Well, what's the reason for this? Uh, housing markets has been recovering, so property values have been recovering, so sellers are actually putting their houses on the market, and they're actually moving at the sales prices they're asking for. See, and sometimes they're bidding. They're bidding with other buyers. I mean, I, it's just riveting to me. It's a bidding war right now. Um, the days of narrowing down one choice for a home with your realtor, it's not happening because you're going to have to have two or three choices as a plan B, plan C, because you probably or more than likely might be outbid in today's market. That's exactly right. And if you see a house, you better get it while you like it because it won't be on the market long. So tell me how the interest rates are right now with all this boom. What's that going to do to us interest wise on our mortgages? Well, rates are still at historical lows right now. They're off their all time lows we experienced the last couple months, but historically, it's a good time to still buy or refinance with the rates in place today. It is? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and do you see this is kind of holding for a while? We are in a steady rate increase market right now. We got the economy improving, mm -hmm. housing market take off. So the, the lending money between bank to bank or government to government, whatever you want to call it, is going up. So that rate's going to go up. So that will have a direct effect on interest rates. It will. And we don't, do we know how we can predict that? Is there any way we can predict it? Or no. just wait till they say, well, if we had a magic ball, <laughs> uh, we could predict the future, but unfortunately we don't. We just have to play the market and just kind of watch what comes in from things such as GDP, our yeah. housing market, unemployment. That's right. All those factors drive, again, the interest rates uh, with investors and, again, it has a direct effect on the interest rates. Okay. When do you advise somebody and do you? Do you ever get somebody that you say, I don't think I'd... I'd buy right now. I think I'd want you to clean up your debt and maybe rent. Do you ever do that? Is it a good time to buy or to rent? Well, that depends. You want to speak to someone about a pre-approval and kind of look at your what you can afford and what you can manage on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, if you can manage a principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and HOA fee, if the house is an HOA, and still comfortably pay your bills, then buying might be an option for you because mm -hmm. a couple things. When you when you buy a house and you pay a mortgage, you build equity. Yes, you do, where you don't with rent. Rent, you equal zero. Zero. Well, then what I, is there any advantage to renting? Um, if you don't have the credit score required to buy a house or if your debt-to-income ratio or your credit needs to be cleaned up, then it might be advantage for you to do short-term if your goal is to be in a house down the road. What do you mean short-term? Rent short-term until you... Oh, the, the American dream is always to own a home or buy a home, correct? So if you have some um, I want to say obstacles or challenges presenting you from buying a new home, try to make it a short term and get with um, either a realtor oh, or a loan it. officer to get you where you want to be to buy a home in the future. I think the thing that I always love talking to Chuck about is that I get details that I can understand. And to get more details, you can email him at chuck.roach at supremelending.com or call the number you see on the screen which is 972-447-5528